Everyone, this is Ben with Cohen Energy Grid Carry.net, and in this video, I'm just going to briefly talk about the difference between Zyrtec and Allegra, and I'll also talk about some other antihistamines in the context of treating hives and especially heat hives. First of all, Zyrtec is also known by the name Cetirazine, and any antihistamines that I'm going to mention in this list, the common treatments that's used to treat itchy, runny nose, itchy eyes, runny nose, uh, sneezing hives, anything like that. And a lot of the side effects on all these antihistamines can be similar, which is some can cause drowsiness, some may cause stomach pain, some may cause diarrhea or nausea, some may cause muscle pain, dry eyes, dry mouth. Those are some of the side effects of all antihistamines. So as far as my experience with Zyrtec and Allegra, Zyrtec's a little bit of a smaller pill, Allegra is a little larger. Zyrtec for me would a little bit help with hives, but for the most part, I didn't get a lot of relief. Now, the reason I didn't like Zyrtec as much was because I would get some stomach pain the next morning from that. And so I would get a little bit of cramping and stomach pain, and I would also sometimes get a headache when I would take it throughout the day. So because of those side effects, I didn't like Zyrtec as much. Allegra, also known as Fexofenidine, that tend to work a lot better for me. Now, both of those are available over the counter, and you always want to talk to your doctor before trying them, especially if you're pregnant or if you're on other medications. It's especially important because some of those antihistamines, you know, it's kind of unclear whether it's safe or not for children, uh, for women who are pregnant. Now, Allegra, it just tended to work better for me. I would get a lot less itching and prickling with my hives, which is cholinergic or to carry. It's a heat, it's a type of heat hives. And it would work the best for me, but it, it never would take the symptoms completely away. And sometimes I would combine that with an H2 antihistamine. And that's something that you can do if you have hives. You can sometimes take an H1 and an H2 antihistamine. An H2 antihistamine would be like Pepsid or Zantac. That's what you think of like an acid reducer in your stomach or something like that, but that's an H2 antihistamine. You never want to take an H1 and H2 antihistamine together without talking to your doctor, and it's not something I would recommend you take together often. I only, my whole life, I suffered with hives for over a decade, and I think I've only done this maybe three to five times, took both of those together. It's not something you want to take long term. Now, I should also mention that there are a couple of studies which suggest that long term antihistamine use could cause a higher risk of brain cancer. And so I have seen a couple of studies in the past few years that have, that have mentioned that. So that's just something I want to make you aware of. It may not cause brain cancer in you, but it just, you may be at a slightly higher risk if you take them daily for a long term. Now, the thing that I want to keep in mind is that Allegra and Zyrtec are both really high quality antihistamines to be over the counter. And a lot of people get relief from hives and seasonal allergies and so forth. And everyone's different. I've talked to a lot of people with hives and they say Zyrtec really helps them. And a lot of people prefer Allegra. So if you aren't sure which one to take, they're both fairly inexpensive and sometimes you can buy just a little sample pack of them at the stores. And if you're at your doctor, they may even, or your dermatologist or doctor may even be able to give you a sample if you go for a checkup. And you can kind of compare and see how it works for you. And that's something I really want to stress. Whenever you take an antihistamine, what, don't pay attention to what everyone else says. See what works for you because they all work differently on different individuals. Some, you know, you could have 10 people with the same hives disorder and some Zyrtec may work great and some Allegra may work great and so forth. Some of the other antihistamines that are out there, Benadryl, Benadryl tends to make people very drowsy. Oh, and by the way, about Allegra, Allegra tends not to make people drowsy as much as Zyrtec. So if you take Zyrtec and you have a big problem with drowsiness, Allegra, it is a possible side effect with it, but it tends to not make people quite as drowsy. But anyway, some of the other antihistamines I was talking about, Benadryl. Benadryl is a very strong antihistamine. It tends to make people very drowsy and it may not be practical for everyone with hives, but that's another antihistamine. Hydroxazine, that's a prescription-based antihistamine. And you would have to talk to your doctor about that. That's something that's often prescribed for hives. Claritin, believe it or not, is sometimes used for hives. Periactin is an antihistamine I tried once that was the worst antihistamine I ever tried because I got the most unusual side effect, which was intense, just anger and frustration. And I just found myself being very irritated all day. I would snap at my wife, the first, the slightest thing, I'm like, what did you do that for? Or something. 
And what I eventually realized was it was the medicine making me this way. When I stopped, I stopped being so irritable. So I would watch out for periactin if you decide to take that. Uh, and like I said, Pepsid and Zantac, those are H2 antihistamines. One thing you want to know about taking the H2 antihistamines long term is that some men have been known to develop breast, which is gynecomastia, and that's something that can happen if you take those long term. It's not everyone will develop that, but that's, you know, again, anything you take long term, there's going to be even more risks and side effects, so keep that in mind. Doxepin is another antihistamine. And some people report good relief with that with hives, but again, all of those antihistamines I just mentioned, some are over the counter, some aren't. Doxepin is prescription based, hydroxyzine is prescription based, periactin is prescription based. Allegra used to be prescription based, but it just came over the counter a few years ago. So Zyrtec and Allegra, my favorite pick out of those two is Allegra, but see what works best for you and stay safe. Thanks so much for watching.